Hey my friends, I have gotten so many questions about the market and what it's doing and where it's going and what I think about. So I decided to go ahead and pull some numbers and take a look because I had a feeling on where things were headed and where things were going based on what I was seeing on the, on the business side of things. But I went ahead and I pulled some statistical data. If you're interested to see where we're headed and what things have been transpiring in the past year, continue watching. So the numbers and the stats I pulled are for the local area, including Brunswick County, New Hanover County, and Pender County. And don't mind me, I'm going to look at my numbers from time to time, so I'm going to look away from you. That'll give you an opportunity to uh, sneeze or whatever. Um, but looking at the numbers from 2020, July of 2020, and July 2021, there have been, July 2020, 1,252 new listings, single family homes. This is all about single family homes. So July 2020, 1,252 homes to hit the market. July 2021, 1,220. A decrease in the number of homes that hit the market of 2.6%. Not that big a deal, right? Here's where we get interesting. Pending sales in July of 2020 were 1,255. Pending sales July 2021, 1,061 sales. That's a difference, 15.5%. A decrease. There's less homes currently under contract this year than there were last year. Amazing, right? Let's talk about closed sales. So closed sales, July 2020, 1,241 homes closed. July 2021, 990 homes closed. Difference of 20.2% less homes have closed this year than last year. Here's what's creating the chaos. Here's what's creating the confusion in the market. Days on market until sale, okay? So that's the number of days the house is actively marketed and, and being shown until it goes under contract. This is not until it closes, but until it goes under contract. In July 2020, 74 days was the average time on market. July 2021, 24 days. So the houses that are going under contract are going under contract much quicker as a general rule than last year, creating this idea that the market is still off the hook when really these numbers are telling us it's changing. But anyway, let, let's talk about the percentage. Days on market last year versus this year, a 67% decrease in the days on market. So that, when you look at that, the houses that are selling, that are most desirable are selling quickly and they're going fast. But overall, the percentage has dropped in the number of sales pending and the number of sales sold from last year. So to bottom line it, to summarize it, we've seen a decrease in the number of new listings, a decrease in the number of pending sales, a decrease in the number of closed sales, the days on market has decreased, which means houses are coming off quicker. But the one thing that has increased is the average sales price has gone from 391,000 to 465,000. That's an increase of almost 19%. Hope this is interesting. I hope you uh, gain some insight on this and where the market is going, because I do believe we are in the beginning of a shift where things are going to stabilize and normalize. I'm not talking about a drop or a bubble burst or anything like that, but I think we're going to, you know, it's going to stabilize. We're going to have some normalcy come back into the market. At least that's what I'm hoping for because I know I'm working pretty hard. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'm Jan Ragaman, also known as the Active Realtor. Appreciate you and everything you guys do for me. We'll see you next time.